don't find any joy anymore from the same old cycle. I don't know what made me happy before from all to zero. Hey YouTube, this is Uncle Momo's music reaction channel where I provide my views on talented artists from around the world, both established artists and non-established artists. And I promise you that you won't be disappointed whatsoever. So why don't you come and join me in discovering amazing, talented artists and bringing it to the forefront of my channel for us to view. Now, still continuing on with the Eurovision Song Contest, we are now heading off to the Netherlands. And this one is Maya Nicola and Dion Cooper with the song Burning Daylight. So, that's all I have. As you know, I have reacted to Ukraine. I have reacted to, I believe I've reacted to Romania as well, Finland as, as well, and Poland. F um, have I reacted to Poland? I, I have to go back and check now. I'm not too sure. <laughs> I, have, I, I have to go back and check that out. And, and Croatia. Croatia one was my last reaction. And I, I get it. And thank you very much for making me understand even more. As in going to details and giving me the background of that particular song. Uh, like I said, there's going to be some really hidden gems. And also some artists that's going to take this opportunity for this platform to express themselves regarding what's happening in Europe. And I, I think the, the political stance with, regarding within music has always been there. Always. Whenever there's something going on in Europe and it so happened to be near or round about the time of when the Eurovision Song Contest happened, there is some kind of song. I'm glad that there isn't a protest, but it's more of a song. And like I said, the song is... And the music and song is an amazing feature on this planet. It's something that happens constantly every single day, every single second. Songs. I don't think that there's ever been a time on this planet where music isn't constructed on a daily basis. Can you imagine for one, for one minute there is no music played around the whole world? I think music is one of the constant thing that's continually vibing on this planet as in sound i know hurts I, I need a sound scientist uh, to put me straight on this but there is so much frequencies bounce around this planet in terms of music every single second and an amazing amount of variety i don't think there's any other thing pet spectrum on this planet other than music that it has a constant flow 24 hours every single day is not been a time where it has not stopped and i don't think a lot of people check that out let me another thing that is like that power other than that power <laughs> music <laughs> it's amazing i think no let's, let's get away from it. something that is constantly done by human beings in a physical in a physical nature there you go I'm blabbing on way too much. Look, let's go straight on to my next reaction of today, shall we? So, without further ado, you know what we're here for. Great vocabs and a damn good video audio music. Can you do it? I like when the heartbeat comes on in the beginning and it shows the heart. Okay, pretty looking guy. I don't find any joy anymore. Why not, bro? From the same old cycle. Okay, I like that. I don't find any joy anymore. From the same old cycle. I don't know what made me happy before. Don't know what made me From all to zero. Where did I go? Is that the same person? Between falling and running, I've been trying to get on my feet in time. This is really nice. I've never been good at crying, always wanted to be the tough type. Tough type. I'm so real, just human. I'm losing myself on 
Do you know what? On a serious note, out of all the reactions that I have reacted so far for 2023, this song has to be the most normalised song <laughs> that I have reacted to so far. Normalised song. Everybody else is being really, really... Everybody else is really expressing themselves in terms of music, in terms of creation of the production, the uh, live performance, the vocal element as well. And there's a substance behind it. This song, like, even if it wasn't in the Eurovision Song Contest, this would do very, very well out of it. Just on the, the video aspect of it. I don't know how they're going to, how it's been done live. It, that would be really, really interesting. I wonder if they will capture the same amount of energy that they have in the video on a live performance. I think this song here will be sung without the uh, without them tracking to their own vocals. You know, I was speaking about the vocal tracking before that there's some artists, yes, there's going to be vocal holders and different kind of effects over their voices. But it seems to me that in the background, you've got the normal song playing and the artist is singing over their vocals and tracking their vocals as they're singing on, on a live performance. I think this song won't be tracked because of the texture of his vocals and it won't sound as good if it was tracked. But this is the most normalised song. Maybe it's because it's a ballad. I don't know. But for me, so far, this is the most normalised song that is on the Eurovision Song Contest 2023 so far that I have personally reacted to. Yeah, I know there's a hell of a lot to go through. I don't know where it will stand in the competition. But I think it will go pretty up there. But at the same time... No. Uh, the quality of vocals is there. Now it's down to the performance. What do they go, What are they going to bring onto? What they're going to bring to the table when they do their live performances, because they're in competition with some amazing entertainment that's going to be valued on the stage. And as you quite rightly, t you know, said to me that Uncle Momo, the Eurovision Song Contest is not only about singing; it's about the live performances as well. It's about the song contest, the song. <laughs> you know, so there's various there's various attributes that's going to be breaking down to create the point system. So yes, they've got the vocal element, but have they got the entertainment value when it comes to presenting a live performance? I mean, if they're going to be standing next to a microphone and singing next to each other, there's a hell of a lot of things that's going to be lost. But if they can recreate this music video onto stage, you know, there's a table and they're sitting down and they're singing like that, then they may stand a chance on this one. But the entertainment value is so, in the Eurovision Song Contest for 2023, is so colourful, it's so energetic, it will get swallowed up regarding the entertainment value. Singing value, you, you see it for yourself. I'm blabbering way too much, apologies for that. I'm going to go back just a little bit, like that, like that, to about say, to about say here. I don't believe in God anymore. What the heck? Sorry, I don't agree with that one. I don't believe in God anymore? Are you crazy? I don't know what I've been looking for. I guess. How did they recreate this? Chasing eyes, I'm losing myself. I'm chasing. 
different stories. Fun. At the beginning, I thought it was different. I'll let you out. I love this. I like that. I like that. So that was the Netherlands Eurovision Song Contest introduction entry song. Yeah. Uh, Maya Nicolai and Dion Cooper. Burning Daylight. I don't think that they actually said Burning Daylight in the actual song. I have to go back to listen to it. Amazing song. Amazing video. Brilliant. If this was out outside of the Eurovision Song Contest, brilliant. It's in the Eurovision Song Contest. And as much as this song is amazing, how are they going to keep up that same kind of energy, that same kind of dramatic visuals on stage? Because it seems to me that everybody's got some serious, dramatic, energetic presence on the stage. They really have this year. I want this song to do really, really well. It's got to have some serious heavyweight on the on the stage. It really has. Or is it just going to be lost as a great song and that's it? And get overshadowed by an artist that's got lesser quality vocals than, than they have, but have a higher entertainment value presentation that will just swallow them up, that won't even have any kind of significance to this song. All it takes is somebody like, you know, the, 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 um, the, the Finland entry. All it takes is someone like, can you imagine, this amazing song comes on, brilliant. Then all of a sudden, after that, this song, the Finland entry comes on. With all that, it will get swallowed up, this song. You like, it will be, this song will be a distant memory. Because of the chaotic, organised chaotic value that Finland bring to the stage. It's well overwhelming. There's going to be a hell of a lot of brilliant artists that's going to be overlooked by lesser singing artists with a higher entertainment quality. That's what I really feel. We just have to wait and see if I'm right, don't we? Until then, I salute you. Boom! I, 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 I,